Hey guys, it's Michael Roberts here and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you what is 3D camera tracking in After Effects. Okay, so first of all, what I want to do is open up After Effects and here we are greeted by this menu where we can create a new composition. So I'm just going to rename this to 3D Camera Tracking. And after that, we're going to resize this to our video's um, resolution, which in my case is 3840 and also 1746. So what I'm going to do here is just going to click OK. And as you can see, our composition is loaded. Okay, so I'm just going to import my footage from my desktop. So I have a folder called footage. And I'm just going to import that video. Okay, so it's imported. Um, as you can see, the quality and the resolution matches the composition. That's why we actually scaled it to 3840 times 1746. So that came in handy there because the camera tracking cannot work on a clip that does not match the resolution of the composition. So you just want to basically um, click on your um, video clip and click track camera. Um, so what you need to know is that this is going to take a very long time should take about 10 minutes um, So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be right back um, And I'm gonna show you what it looks like after the 3d camera tracking is finished Okay guys, so after our render has been finished um, as you can see here all of our um, track points are being shown. I'm just going to resize my target size to 100. That's going to give a better feel of what we're doing. And I'm just going to increase the track point size so we can actually see what we are selecting. One thing you must note is that the more you select, um, the more tracking points you select, um, the better your selection and the better you are to get the best possible treaty tracking. So I'm just going to right click after I've selected my points and I'm going to click create text and as you can see that created a text layer. So I'm just going to unselect our 3D camera tracker and remember if you're not seeing your tracking points you can always go back and click on the 3D camera tracker effect on your video clip. So next, as you can see, we have a plain text layer here. If we select the text layer, we are able to move it about and um, just edit it entirely. Um, just remember, you can also rotate this to your liking. So it, you can actually um, position this in any way you want. So I'm just going to double click on this and replace it with my own text. Remember, it's going to take a while for it to load, especially if your laptop does not have enough GPU. So it's going to take a while for all those letters to actually render. And if you want to um, just unselect that, you can do so. And I'm just going to move this and probably double click on that again. And um, as you can see, if I um, double click on that and select that, I can um, resize that to a little less than it is right now because it's a bit too big for what I want it and I'm just gonna keep typing and it's going to refresh the feed and there we go um as you can see it's perfectly aligned on our um, background layer and if we actually scrub through this you can see that our text layer is actually moving forward with it um, as you can see, our render does not actually pick it up on, until a few seconds because it's giving a bit trouble to actually um, do that with our graphics um, memory card. And if you actually um, rescale this from the beginning, I'm going to suggest that you rescale that um, probably so it can reach outside of the frame. So when you do scrub through, 
um, you should be able to see it moving and everything like that as you can see let's wait a few seconds for our um, feet to load and as you can see it is perfectly working and let's just fix the position using the anchor points here so everything can be totally refined and you have control over everything and where it is positioned so the red is for the X position, the, the green is for the Y position, and the blue is for the Z position. Um, that's all you need to know basically because that's everything you need to see. Um, and you can also have that horizontally selected and there you go. So there you are, have it guys. It's basic 3D camera tracking and if you scrub through this as you can see it moves with our um, video layer and yeah that's basically it so guys if you did enjoy this tutorial please leave a like and subscribe it really means a lot to the channel and bye guys